Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, May something, <laughs> Wednesday, May, oh, May the 4th, May the 4th be with you, it's that day. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. Uh, put in my new catalog order yesterday and a bunch of other things. So I have a lot to show you. And I'm late because I was trying to get this new streaming thing to work and I cannot get it. I can't get it. And I don't know. I don't know. If any of you are a professional streamer, please come to my house. <laughs> and help me. Maybe I should get my kids to help me. Maybe that's what I should do. The teenagers, maybe. They're usually too busy though for me. I don't know, I couldn't get it to work and I was so excited to use it. And um, I was having major echoing and I turned off the mic for this and that and this and that and it didn't work. So and you need to come over from Canada and help me please. Okay, so. First, I want to tell you that all those boxes I posted a picture of, I know you're going to say, oh my God, she spent so much money. No, calm down. All right. Half of that was ribbon and paper shares. I expedited those because my beautiful assistant, Denise, is helping me and she's leaving town. She's going on a car trip. So I wanted to get all here for her before that. Um, so half of that was product shares. Okay. Not me, it's y'all stuff, y'all who ordered. Second, I had a bunch of Stampin' Rewards, okay, that I've been saving, and um, product, what do we call it, product credits. Uh, as a demo, you can earn product credits as part of the compensation plan. And so I saved them up, ready to spend them, and I got a lot of stuff. The problem when you order this much, and plus I did like six different orders. It was over six different orders because I was putting in this and I was cashing in this and blah, blah, blah. I might have I might have doubled on some things, which happens. So no judgment, all right? Um, all the doubles will be prizes. That's the fun part. Um, there is also, I ordered stuff for my team meeting um, and there are doubles in here for that, for prizes. Um, I pulled out all of the ribbon and this is um, Club Create cardstock, so I can start on that. And I combined it into about two and a half boxes. I don't know the names of things, you guys. I don't know what goes with what yet. So we're just gonna dig through, right? And just look at it. Um, the thing I'm the most excited about is probably the masking paper. <laughs> You know, I love me some post-it notes, some post-it tape, and I ordered the mat. We have new masking paper, which is supposed to be the same, so we'll see. I'm also excited about the magnetic cutting plate for the cut and emboss machine. Um, and I, I'm looking, I don't even know what this is. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna switch you guys around, and we're just gonna start digging through, all right? Now, how many of you ordered? Did you order? Um, I got up early. I always set my alarm and get up early on ordering day because I'm ordering for Club Create, I'm ordering for product shares, I'm ordering for, um, if I have a class, I'm ordering for that. So I always get up early. But I got, it took hours, literally hours to get everything in. Um, but it's fun, that's fun. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this let me open this so i can see your comment oh no i don't want to hear myself um patricia the mini magnetic plate is not available i they told us that ahead of time and i forgot the mini magnetic plate is running late i think so it wasn't there i know i i tried to order it too i totally forgot about that um okay let me get my um box cutter this very first thing is another thing that i'm really excited about these are the embossed treat bags and they actually look smaller than i thought they were going to be which is good because you know the bigger they are the more you have to buy to fill them um so let's see oh it's so cute don't you love a gift bag or a box that's already put together and all you have to do is decorate it 
That's really cute. Um, let's see, for size reference, there's a stamp case. So it's a little bit smaller than a stamp case. Um, you know, like if you wanted to give, I don't know, some embellishments as a gift, you could put a few in there. I don't know, it's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I come in white. All right, so let's put that over here. I don't know, the problem when I do this is I never know where to put things. All right, so let me get this box. Hold on, hold on. All right, Rays of Light. That's a background stamp. I love, love it. My friend Terry, who is on my team, she's at the top of my downline list, which means she's been with me longer than anybody. She and I have different tastes in stamps, and she loves sentiments. And yesterday when I posted asking what was on their everybody's wish list, she said this was on her wish list. I was surprised. Um, I usually can convince Terry to come over on my side with the stamps. <laughs> but this one's fun. I love a background stamp. So Rays of Light, that's a good one. Lighthouse Point. Um, the problem is, is that all of this is thrown in here together. You know what? Let's do this. I'll pull. Let's see. I'm going to try to put things together that are alike. And I didn't pre-organize anything. Okay, here are the Lighthouse dies. So this lighthouse set um, is beautiful. How many of you live somewhere where you have lighthouses? Up in like New England and stuff? Um, I guess they have lighthouses in Texas, do they? I don't know. I don't remember seeing any. Ooh, oh, they're big. Okay, okay, I thought they were smaller. That is small, but that's big. Look how big that die is. I love that. See, look at that. Very big. Okay, cool. And then, of course, we've got some awesome labels. Some label dies, which we always love. So there's that. Um, let's see what else we had. Did you guys see these? Um, these are these were on our pre-order, and these are fantastic. I'm actually making in color club cards this month using these. They coordinate with a tea boutique um, suite and their card bases. Makes it just easy to make some cards. All right. And then, hello, look at the fancy envelopes. They have all the new in colors on them. Really cute. I really like these. And I'm not always a, a card, what do you call those? Card base, you know, I, I usually like to make my own. All right. Good feelings. This This looks like something Terry would like all kinds of fonts. I'm just so happy for you. You're on my mind and in my heart. Hip, hip, hooray. That's really cute. I like when you, when they mix different fonts. Okay. Here's the alphabet. And I just had that punch. The, oh, what's it called? Oh, it's called alpha best. Okay. Stampin' up. That's a clever name. Usually I'm all judgy with the names, but that is a really clever name. Alpha best. Um, photopolymer, they're pretty small, which is good. And then you've got this little tiny ticket punch. Looks to be like about an inch long. And I guess it will punch out the letters. It won't fit. Yeah, I'll probably punch those out. All right. I bet this was on a lot of lists. That's really cute. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, potted geraniums. Now, you guys, I noticed yesterday, hold on, I'm looking for the dies. I noticed yesterday when I asked you guys what you wanted for Facebook Lives and stuff, a lot of you said potted geraniums, which I um, was surprised about because this was not one at the top of my list. I'm looking for the dies. Hold on. Um, they should just be here. Come on. Geranium dies. Here they are. Um, you know, geraniums are one of those things that will grow in San Antonio. And uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. For some reason, I was just like, meh. But I got them. I'm glad I did because you guys want them too. Um, let's see what the dies look like. It's like two-step stamping. Lots of dies. Oh, another label. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that in the trash. Another nice little label. So cute. I love labels. You know, I've been taking my label dies out of my die sets and putting them all together so that when I need just a label for something, I have them there. I don't have to dig through all my dies. It's just something I've been doing. 
All right, so potted geraniums is definitely now on my list since you guys like it. Um, okay, let's look at these so I can get these out of the way. This is interesting. I don't, I didn't know what this was, but it says it's the For Everything Fancy Sequins. I'm going to have to tear the box. Okay. Oh, look. Okay, thank you, Stamping Up, because the, our last sequin thing came in. It was like a little plastic divider and they were in these little wells. And when you opened it, you opened all of them. It was kind of difficult to get the sequins out. But this is so smart. These are our little, um, you know, what our embellishments come in. These are so cute. These, okay, the catalog doesn't do these justice. These are beautiful. That looks like something that would go on the top of a cupcake. Wow. Okay. Did you guys get these? Uh, you know, I almost didn't. I almost didn't get these. There's a bazillion in each package. Way better, right, Stacy? Way better packaging. Good job stamping up. You know, they're always trying to do what they call better their best, and they really do. They really do a good job. All right, embellishments. Oh, I like that blue. That must be our starry sky. Um, these are solid faceted gems. You know, I, I could have a, a million dots and still not have enough flower adhesive backed trinkets. These are heavy. These don't feel light. Um, they are heavy. Oh, and silver. Oh, okay. I can see now there's gold and gold and silver. <laughs> I don't know. Brass, maybe brass, gold and silver. They're adhesive backed. Those are cute. Very cute. Now these, I was wondering about iridescent pearls so we have pearls but these are, have that kind of um rainbowy iridescent look i don't know if you guys can see that they're really pretty they're very different um and i think they're smaller i think these are smaller than than our bigger ones these are cool iridescent hmm. all right these little flowers are fun flower resin shapes that that's a fun color palette much lighter than these these are like metal i mean i don't know if they're really metal but they feel like it um hello everybody who's joining so glad you're here to share in my excitement you know i've been doing this 13 years almost and i never the excitement never wanes. I still get so excited about a new catalog. Okay, now these are cute heart pearls. So you've got like a opaque, then you've got like a, um, like a shiny, and then this is more like a clear-ish, not totally clear, but a clear-ish. Oh, those are so cute. We've needed some um, heart-shaped embellishments. Okay, good. I like those a lot. All right, let's see, what did I have here? Um, wait a minute. I had the, the birdhouse die. Birdhouse dies. Does that, that doesn't go with pretty birds, does it? I love that name too. Pretty birds, that's cute. Did anybody order pretty birds? I bet some of you did. Um, yes, okay, good. I love this bundle a lot. Um, I'm not really a bird person, but I do like it. It's very different. Um, so two-step stamping. Um, all the different birds. And then, oh my gosh, there are a ton of different um, things. So we've got the bird cage, the hanging, that'll cut that out. Another little, oh, like a perch for them. A little like swirls and cute things. Wow, there's a lot in there, 21, 21 dies. So pretty birds, pretty bird. Okay, um, this, okay, what do you guys think about this stamp set? So this goes with our mountain stamp set, right? It coordinates. If you look in, I can show you guys the catalog now, right? We can open the catalog now. Where is my catalog? I have it right here. Oh, it's right here. Um, so, you know, we have that mountain stamp set that's been around for a while. Can I find it like this or do I need to look it up? One pass through and then I'll look it up. Yep, look it up. Okay. Do you guys do that? Do you think, okay, I can find it real fast and then you can't um waterfall canyon page 94 waterfall canyon so i love those mountain dies and did you see this it that is so cool i i love that it's like um it reminds me of the hoover dam kind of that's just really cool anyway they 
I don't know, I guess they coordinate with the, with the mountains, um, but you can make all these different things. And they have, you know, like solid on one side and then the detailed on the back. Love it. I, I'm a little intimidated by it, like I was with the mountains, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. This one's really cute by my side. Life is better with friends like you. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thinking of you today. Hi, sweet friend. Um, any little cuties that I can color with stamp and blends are always on my list. Tropical Hideaway, love, background stamp. Okay, um, elephant, somebody asked me if I got the elephant, of course, of course. I mean, anything that's cute, cutesy, or an animal I'm getting. I'll never forget your kindness, sweet little one, what a happy day. I bet the elephant was on the top of many of your lists. Um, so cute. You like this set, Cheryl? You're in love with it? Yeah, so cute. Um, a balloon, grass, peanuts. Oh, how cute, peanuts. You know, sometimes when you, well, maybe it's just me, but when I look in the catalog, I'll see the stamp set and I'll see that it has coordinating dies, but I don't really see what the dies are until I get it. That's really cute. What is that? Oh, the flower, the little flower. Wow, so they even have the little dies for the butterfly, the flower, the mouse, the elephant ears, how funny. Cute, elephant parade. You'll see it this summer probably for Facebook Friday. Um, Speedy recovery, I was on the fence with this one. Red rubber, um, it looks like it's maybe the distinctive stamp, um, but I really like, I really like the sentiments. And um, who was it, Kare was it Kareen who asked me about a get well stamp set a couple months ago? Here we are, here we go. That's a cute one. Oh, this one I know you guys are gonna love. The bir This birthday piggy. How cute is this? Very reminiscent of this little piggy. Is that what it was called? Have we had one pig stamp set or have we had two already? Is this the second one or the third? I love when they bring a stamp set that coordinates with something we had before. That's really cute. Those pigs are so fun to color. Very cute. Now, this is an interesting set. My brother is an avid kayaker. And my oldest daughter, you guys know, she's like she's like an outdoorsy girl. She is getting ready to leave on a three-week backpacking camping trip. So I thought this would be good for her. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet, but I love these two Um I should make her a card that says, wishing you an adventurous journey. That's really cute. Oh, and look at that. That's pretty too. Adventurous journey. Okay, love it. New masks. Oh, I love me some new masks. Can you guys hear that? I live in a cul-de-sac and there, the next house is like literally right there. And he's bringing his trash cans in and putting them right next to our house every time. It makes a giant loud noise. Anyways, whatever. We'll be moving in a year. It'll be fine. Okay, so look at this stuff that's falling out of here. So, okay, geometric is always my favorite. That's really neat. So then I guess you have like the negative, you know, you could use that and leave that space white when you ink around it or ink that space and make it colored. Okay. Um, oh, yes, I love that one. I love that a lot. A grid, quarter foil, is that what that's called? And then just like a little little flowery pattern. Masking is one of my favorites. One of my faves. Um, what are these? Okay, okay. You know, the treat bags in the catalog look a lot bigger than they are. I have seen, okay, let me show you guys something real quick. Hold on, let me grab it. So I ordered from a lady on Etsy. Um, I guess I saw it on a Facebook ad or something these cute um inf alcohol infusion kits i bought them for gifts um and that's her bag so when i saw this in the or that's the bag she used so when i saw this um in the catalog i thought it was going to be this big and i was thinking oh that's a lot of candy <laughs> that's a huge bag um but look it's small and it in a lay flat does it lay flat or does it here's the clear side I already have something planned for this. The candy is sitting on my porch. I ordered it already. You'll see it next Friday, maybe. 
Okay, those are cute. Those are called peekaboo treat bags. Thank you. I'm glad those are small and not gigantic like I thought they were going to be. Um, okay, let's see. I already showed you that. And, oh, this is a double. Okay, here is something I didn't notice, but my friend Rhonda said we're, we're planning an event for our teams, and she said let's use those, and I was like, what are you talking about? I guess this is, this is what she's talking about, because this is, we haven't had craft card bases, right? These are new, <laughs> but it comes with this box. Look at the box. Wow. So you, you can make a card set. How does it, oh, look. Hmm. Okay, let's look in the catalog so I will know what I'm talking about. I think they're new. It's weird how you can look at a catalog a bazillion times and still not remember what was in there, what's new, what's old, what's returning, what's something similar. Okay, where are the bags? Right here. Oh, the box is a craft. Nope, that's not it. Craft, right here, right here. Yeah, it says new. So craft note cards and envelopes. See this product in use on page 62. Oh, it's like a follow your adventure. <laughs> Um, okay, see, I didn't even notice it. So here are the craft card bases with the envelopes. So they're like a three by five, it looks like. And then the box is big. So the box, um, let's see, this is the lid up here. Did it come with two boxes? This is cool. I bet most of you didn't notice this. Did you guys notice this? Is it just me? Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this box out because it's not making any sense. What? Like that and like that. But look, it has two sides right here. Okay, I don't know. It's a mystery that will be figured out at another time. Cause see, it goes up and like that, but then, oh, does it, Okay, I can't, I can't give up. I have to figure it out. No, that doesn't make any sense, because look. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll go figure it out on YouTube. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's two pieces. There's two pieces. Okay, that would make sense. I'll have it put together for you by Friday. <laughs> Who knows? It's complicated. It's very complicated. Okay, but it's super cute and it would make a fantastic gift. All right. <laughs> Y'all are all trying to tell me how to put it together. You push that in. Move that. It's two pieces. How many stampers does it take to assemble one box? A lot, apparently. Okay, these are big. Look at these. These are called Sprig Trinkets. They're big. They're like, they feel like metal. And there's a lot of them in there. Those are pretty. Those will be pretty in the fall when we're doing like fall cards. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, here she is. And she is heavy. Holy smokes. Magnetic cutting plate. This is, you guys, this is heavy. Very heavy. So that means it's not going to curl like the last one. It is super heavy. So what this is, let's get some dies, the full basket dies. Where's the stamp set that goes with that? No, I don't want to open that yet. I don't have a stamp set. Okay, well, whatever. We'll open these. Build, oh no, okay, these are the butterfly. Build a butterfly. I love this suite. So a magnetic plate is going to solve all of our problems. No more masking tape or uh, post-it tape. So let's see. It'll hold. Yeah, it holds that in place. Ooh, and I bet because it's a one long sheet magnet, it's not going to do that bouncing around like the old one did. Huh, interesting. Okay, so it's like all one piece. So this is metal. This is a very strong magnet, which could possibly be a problem for people right? So warning on that. Magnetic, what does it say? It is heavy. I mean, like, whoa. But makes me excited because it's not going to curl. There's no way this baby's going to curl. 
awesome. Okay, I'm very, very excited about that. That may be my favorite product in the whole catalog. <laughs> okay, let me get to the bottom of this box. Let me move it out of the way. For some reason, I have dies in here without the matching stamp sets. I better not have ordered just the dies. I'll be really mad. Um, okay, let's look at this. This is the second most exciting product in the whole catalog, the masking paper. It's like a giant, well, in my mind, I'm assuming it's a giant. No, wait a minute. Yeah, it feels like photo paper. It was supposed to be sticky. Is it not sticky? Oh, okay, that's just a cover. Oh my God, I was about to lose my mind. Okay, that this is not the embossing paper. This, I mean the masking paper. This is the masking paper and it is very light. It's similar to our, um, hmm, kind of smells good too. Yep, it's like a post-it. Yay, so we can use this in lots of ways. Masking, um, you know, I mean, there's just a ton of things. So you'll see me use this a lot. Uh, Stamping up masking paper, 12 pieces. That will go a long way. That will go a long, long way. Am I having another delivery, you guys? Who is this? Mr. Ace Mechanical. No, sir, I did not, I did not schedule you. Let's close the blinds so that no one is home. I do not know who you are. Ugh. Okay, I already showed you those. I showed you those. I'm not going to show you. Oh, well, maybe the ch chick dies, the cheek, chic, chic, probably not chick. It's probably chic, chic dies, chic dies. Um, oh, okay. This goes with this right here. I don't know how I feel about this bundle. And I, th and you know what I think? I think the reason is because the paper, which let me pull out the paper. The paper is not my favorite colors at all. It's like subtly, neutrally colors. And just like that tiger set, you know, it like made me think I don't like the, here it is. Well, well, okay, hold on. The paper is actually beautiful. You know, that's the thing. You don't know. You just don't know. Okay, see, that's very neutrally, and some of you are going to absolutely love that. Those are not my colors. But that is beautiful. See, that's why paper has two sides. Wow. Okay. Changed my mind. I like that, too. That grunge, I like that. Eh, that one, meh. I think I like the grungy side better. Um, it does, Sunny. Sunny says it has a lot of great things for the different seasons. It does. You're right. It covers all a lot. Oh, gosh. You know, it's, is it Petal Pink or is it Blushing Bride? Um, it is Petal Pink. See, Petal Pink is just not a pink to me. I don't know. That's, okay, that's kind of, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, it's snowflakes, but like on a like a grungy background, that's interesting, but I do love that. I can do a whole lot with that, that's gorgeous. So it's got this gold on one side of each piece. Bless you, peps. That's beautiful. I like it, okay, I changed my mind. I'm on board, I'm on board. Interesting, it's very artsy. It's very artsy, artsy fartsy. So this goes with that. This is kind of a cool die right here that will cut texture in your cardstock. Then we've got all of these, the shells. So we've got shells, flowers, snowflakes, and leaves. So every season, wishing you the best birthday ever. I'm here for you. You make each season of life even more beautiful. Okay, that's really beautiful. You are amazing beyond measure. Thinking of you, love you, thanks. Okay, challenge accepted. That's why I ordered it. I had a feeling, I had a feeling it was gonna be popular. Okay, I'm just reading your comments. Yeah, Sunny, it's peachy. It's like, uh, you know, Petal Pink and Blushing Bride, I have a, a, we, we, I don't know. You guys know, I'm on the Brights team, so those subtle colors, I don't know. This is super cute. Doesn't have dyes, but is really cute. Fun to color. Um, sending love your way. Always grateful for you. A real simple set, but I love it. 
Um, okay, stylish shape dies. Okay, now I already have these, but you guys know that I order multiple sets of dies that I use a lot because of classes. That way I can cut more at once. Um, and I love these. These are kind of our replacement for the stitch shape dies. Um, they're more delicate than our old stitch shape dies. And they they cut the stitching on both sides. So the negative space will have the stitching and the die shape will have the stitching. And we have these great banners. I, you know, I love a good banner. All right, fabulous frames. This is another one. Wait, this may not be the one I'm thinking. Why won't the comments stay on? Yes, Carla, they are dirty pinks. Yes. Oh, yes, I have these. These are great. We used this one, didn't we? Oh, no. Did we use this? I can't remember. I used it for something, I think, um, in our club projects. Um, but this is an excellent die set. No matching stamp set, just the dies. Make sure you check out that die section um, in the catalog because there are a lot of dies in there that don't have matching stamp sets that you won't see somewhere else. All right, these, this is weird. <laughs> Delicate details treat boxes. So these are one of those beautiful treat boxes. Look how they packaged it in a huge 12 by 12 thing. Oh, I got two. Gosh, these would make beautiful like wedding favors or bridal shower favors. Let's see how difficult this one is. <laughs> um, oh, so easy. It even has the adhesive on it, look. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, again, another thing that the catalog doesn't do justice. Gorgeous. So those are called delicate, what did I say? Delicate details treat boxes. And I am on board for those for sure. All right, let me grab a bunch of stuff from this box. Now, we have duplicates, remember, okay, for my team. So these are prizes. I already showed you that. I need to put these somewhere separate. Um, how about this stepping stones? Does this have a matching die? What's the deal? I something about these. Let me look them up. Hold on. Stepping stones. Um, an obstacle is often a stepping stone. Oh, that's nice. Um, stepping stones. What page? Hello. Why can't I find it? 64. 64. Oh, oh my gosh. I was right there. No, it doesn't have dice. I don't know why I was thinking that. I think this was a last minute add to my order. Dream no small dreams for they have no power to move the hearts of men. Oh, wow. Okay, so an inspirational set. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Helen Keller. Follow your own star. Oh, I like that one. Wrinkles should merely indicate where smiles have been. Oh, I needed to hear that today. <laughs> I like that. All right. Okay, here are the butterflies. The, the matching dies. I mean, so cute. You're my bestie. All the love. So glad you exist. Sending good vibes. Very cute. I I know some of you just don't want to do butterflies, but I love this set. I love it. It's very different. It's very cutesy. Um, here's another one. Amazing year. Um, birthday wishes for you to a wonderful friend. You're an entire year more amazing and lovely as ever. Very nice. Um, okay, here's a duplicate. Oh, here is the sweetest cherries. This will be next week's Facebook Friday. Sweetest cherry is probably, well, I don't know if I could say it's my favorite, but it's my top five favorite stamp in the whole catalog. It might be my favorite. It has a punch, doesn't it, somewhere? Okay, we'll set that aside until we find it. Simply Fabulous, I think this is a really good set just for the sentiments and for like little accent flowers. Sometimes you just need a little, like a little boop, you know? <laughs> um, and the font is very different. I don't think we've ever had anything with this font. There is beauty in everything, just saying hello. Hooray, thank you, you are Simply Fabulous. Let's celebrate for you a note. And hey, I love a little sentiment because sometimes you have a project and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to cover it up with a giant sentiment or where am I going to put it? But if you have just a little tiny, hey, or, you know, thanks, then you could just like put it in the corner. So there's several little ones here. Those are good. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look, it's my mom's dog. Glad we're friends. I This is in my top five too. So cute. Growing older is mandatory. Growing up is optional. Um, I used to have a sign in my classroom that said, don't grow up, it's a trap. 
And the kids were always asking me, like it bothered them. <laughs> They're like, Miss Rowan, what does that mean? But that reminds me of that. Um, a friend like you comes along once in nine lives. Glad we're friends. I'm blown away by you. It's Guinea be a great day. Oh, cute. Very punny. Um, okay, let's see what else. Hold on. Let me grab another stack. Okay, we've, these are my duplicates for prizes, prizes, build a butterfly, okay, prizes, prizes. Um, okay, hold on, we'll look at those in a minute. That goes with that. Oh, here's this one. This is probably my favorite. This is probably my favorite. Um, and you know, when you look at the stamp set, it doesn't look that exciting, but let's go back and let's look at the pictures in the catalog. Cheerful Basket, page 35. Page 35. This is on my list this summer for either class or club. I'm not sure. Um, Pepper, come on. You guys, I have to share something. Well, I'll share that with you later. I found something that helps with the barking. Um, cheerful Basket. Okay, so let's look at the dies. Because this is one of those where I looked at the stamp set. And I did not look at the dies. And there are a lot of dies. So the pictures are cute. Look how cute. Look at that. <gasps> That's so cute. Bunch of die cut apples. Do you guys have your catalog? You have to look. Page 34. Okay, so, oh, here, look. Two sets of dies. So don't, when you get these, don't throw. I've done that before. Throw the second page away. Okay, so everything has a die. That that and that and then we've got the the die to cut out the basket no oh yeah there and then you can paper piece a basket there's a handle leaves apples um what is that butterfly more leaves sprigs a little bandana hearts i mean you guys the possibilities are endless it is adorable it's adorable let's look in the back you guys make sure that you go to the back when you get a bundle right here go to the back where near the dies they have each bundle and then they have another sample and usually the sample back here is very different and a little stepped up like a little more fancy um that's very cute that's cute oh i just love it very very cute okay let me grab some more hold on hold on Oh, I've got ribbon to show you, and I've got a lot of paper, and here's the cherry punch. Let's look at the cherry punch. It's big. See, there it is right there. It's really big. I like it. And so what is that? Sweetest cherry? What, what page? Denise, I need you to be here to tell me what page is. Denise is my friend and my assistant, and I told her I need her to just... Follow me around with a notepad and remind me of all the things because I can't remember anything. Sweet as cherries. She's going to live down the street from my new, my, well, she already lives down the street from where we bought our lot. So she's going to be very close when I move. Sweet. Now, what is this? Sweet as cherries. Page 19. 19, 19, 19. So, okay. So it's just a texture stamp. It kind of looks like a basket, right? cute oh my gosh i can't wait to play with this oh. okay that is coming next week's facebook friday that's that's staying out on the desk okay this is really beautiful where's the punch this reminds me of sweet symmetry that we just had retired right sweet uh lovely and lasting here's the punch how cute is the punch um, Elaine, no fussy cutting on what? The, the cherries or the basket? Yeah, it, you could fussy cut that easy. Come on now. You could. All right, lovely and lasting. Very cute, but let's look at the paper. I love the colors in the paper. Where did my um, box cutter go? You guys, I had to take Mac, my old dog, to the vet today. He had, I love him, but I can't deal with disgusting. And my husband couldn't take him, so it was me. I'm still not I'm still not past it. It was a rough morning. So this is making me feel a lot better. Ooh, I love that one. I love that one. I know you guys probably didn't need to hear that, but I'm sure you can sympathize with me. 
I love my dogs, but I do not handle gross things well at all. And then the vet was trying to give me all the details of what happened when he took him to the back. I was like, nope, mm -mm, nope, I don't need all that. No, thank you. Gross. This is really good. I like these monochromatic patterns. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking about my dog. It's ridiculous. Um, monochromatic patterns make me very happy. Because you can use, you know, maybe you're not using this altogether, but maybe at Christmas you need a green, you know, geometric pattern on a card. There you go. Um, or a blue, you know, I don't know, something. And that looks Christmassy too. So you can use, and that's very good. Look at those together. Oh, all of those together. I love geometric. Geometric all day long. Okay, there's that. And now every time I get a paper, you're going to think of my dog. Sorry. <laughs> um, go to greetings. These scripty fonts are very fancy. I bet my friend Terry likes those. Um, these are more my my pace right here. Those are very fancy. Those are like wedding card font, but but pretty. That's a really good set. And look, a tiny hello. Tiny. Um, yes, Louise, I have sending smiles. Um, I did a card last week on it. I got that in my pre-order. What about this set, you guys? Sunny Splash, so cute. That will go great with the sun background stamp that I showed you at the beginning. Very cute. I love that. I wish it had dyes. Fussy Cutting Elaine, sorry. Um, Charming Sentiment. Oh, this is Lisa's set. Okay, wait. Lisa Percio, this is her Million Dollar Achiever stamp. Hey, you guys have been asking where my stamp set is. It's not in this catalog. It won't be until next spring's catalog, January. So you'll see it, but not until next spring. I know it takes forever. Okay, so Lisa, this is super cute. All of these, look, you know when I make you cut the word out with scissors and you guys are like, I'm never doing that? Well, look, now you don't have to. You have the dies to cut out the words. I think this is going to be ridiculously popular. Look at that. I mean, now we're gonna be like, okay, Stampin' Up, we need dies for every word stamp that we have. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're gonna see me use that a whole bunch. Babies are a blessing, good luck. Not that you need it, just for you, Woohoo! That's cute. Beyond grateful, everything will be okay. Thank you, ooh, I like that one, it's the font. So tiny, so precious. Every Wishing you everything wonderful because you totally deserve it. What's new? Good luck. Faith over fear. Ooh, I love that. Good job, Lisa. I love it. Good job. Okay. Um, Heron Habitat. Do I have those dies yet? No, nope. let's put it to the side until I find the dies. Okay, well, I'm almost at the bottom of this box. Do you guys ever accidentally do that? You meant to order the bundle and you put in the wrong number and you order just the stamp set? Oh, I do that. Um, oh, but look, I didn't do it. Here it is. Okay, good. I was going to be mad. Here in Habitat. How do you guys feel about this stamp set? I really like the way it's drawn. And the font. We got a lot of new fonts in this catalog. Um, I, I like this stamp set. It's not... I don't know. I really like it. It looks like a maybe a wave edge. Oh, cute. Look at this. This looks like it has little hearts. A little label with hearts. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm guessing that's what those are. They look like hearts. It's good grass dye. That's always good. Um, oh, another one with hearts. Okay, yeah. Hair and Habitat is high on my list. That'll probably be a Facebook Friday. That's a really good one. I bet my Florida friends like that. Not your style, Pam. I didn't think it was my style either. But I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, Louise, pretty much. No, I did not get the whole catalog. I did not. Um, I had rewards to re uh, redeem. So I got a lot. I did get a lot. Oh, okay. I'm going to save that for last. Here's some embossing folders, dies. There's more duplicates. Hold on. Boy, you guys are going to have some good prizes coming up. Good prizes. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's come over here and show you probably my... So my top three are probably the cherries, um, the basket, and then happier than happy. 
how stinking cute. We saw this when I was in um, when I was in Utah in March for my million dollar uh, retreat. Diane Dimmich is the one. This is her million dollar stamp set, and she was there. And we all flipped to the catalog and saw it. It was so exciting to see her set, and it has matching paper, and it's so cute, so cute. Um, okay, so we have the bear, the fox, the owl. Then we've got a little tree, we've got a little tag, acorn, leaf, mushrooms, tree trunk, another tree trunk, right? Oh yeah, that cuts out that. So let's look at the paper that goes with it. This is a sweet, so that means it has coordinating products. Mine will not have coordinating products, but whatever. I still like it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, so we've got the little mushrooms. Is this the right paper? Yeah, yeah, okay. Again, monochromatic, you can use it for anything. Look how cute. Oh, how cute. So that would be great for like a 12 by 12, like a, you know, like a home decor or scrapbook. Very cute. And then the back is monochromatic again. Ooh, look at that. I love the way this is drawn. It's very cartoonish, but then like not cartoonish, like pretty, pretty cartoonish. That makes sense. Um, gosh, I'm like all thumbs. Oh, that one's a good one. We've got the monochromatic. That one, that's cute. A small pattern, and then little, little plus signs or X's, and that's cute. I like how they color the fox. He's not orange. He's red. I bet he is Poppy Parade or Sweet Sorbet. Let's see, Calypso. Well, he looks red. Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Mossy Meadow, Sarasan. Okay, well, he looks red, but it says it's Calypso. Really pretty. Love it. Yeah, so that is cute. That's going to be probably a class, probably, or club, one of the others. Um, <laughs> yes, seven more months. You are right. It'll be here before we know it. All right, so we looked at those. That's a duplicate. We looked at that. Okay, this is Artisan Edition dies. I think these are one of those standalone dies that doesn't have a matching stamp set. Let's see. Oh yeah, interesting, right? So we've got like, that could be like the center of a card. Very delicate. Um, you're gonna need your die brush. This, is, this will add texture. And then this will add I don't know. Does that cut all the way out? Yeah, I think it does. All right, let's look at let's look at the samples. What is what are these called? Artisan editions. Hmm. Artisan editions. Oh no, they're not going to be there. They're going to be over here, right here. So, yeah, it cuts that out. Interesting. What does it say? See these dies on page sixty-five. Page 65, 61, 62, 63. Hello, I'm going to get there eventually. <sighs> or maybe not. Okay, so right here. So you can see that little plant they use right back behind there. And there's the the middle one. That's really pretty. Oh, it cuts. It cu okay, so it cuts out the frame. And then the other one, Does it? do they have the other one on here? I don't see it used. Okay, so artisan editions. Those are cool. Um, this is a duplicate. Um, okay, rugged icons. These are standalone also. These are really cool. Rugged icons. Good name. The guitar, the fishing um, reel, rod, whatever. That little like symbol thingy. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. A drill and a beard. Gosh, that is hilarious. That will go great with the he's all that. Because there's a sentiment that says, hello, handsome. That's cute. This whole set will go great with he's all that. I've already planned. I've already designed all the projects for he's all that. I should have waited till I had those dies. Okay, we've seen this one. We've seen this one. Split card texture dies. Have we seen these? I don't think so. Uh, 
So, come on. Let's see what we got going. Oh, split card texture dies. Okay, let's see what those look like. Um, split card. Okay. Look, so it'll cut out just like, you know, a, half of the card. See these on page 86. I've seen, I've looked at all of this, but I have no memory of it. Oh, very cool. Okay, look. See, so you can, you cut that out of the top and then you put a different color underneath. That's really cool. Do they have the other one? No, they don't. Hmm. That is, that is interesting. I, I'm looking forward to using that. You can use that with anything. Um, okay, here's some embossing folders. I'm not going to open these. Into the Clouds. I think that's my favorite new one. This was so, Let's Celebrate. These are the minis. Um, painted Posies. Very cute. 3D embossing. It looks like it has, okay, I'm going to open this one. It looks like it has some, like a texture, like a painting. Yeah, it does. So like, um, well, does it? I don't feel it, but it looks like, see right here? Hmm, but it's smooth, but it looks like it does. I don't know, we'll have to test that out. That's pretty. And then this one is quarter foil tile, a good monochromatic, not monochromatic, but uh, geometric. Um, pretty pop-up dies. There are a lot of standalone dies, a lot. Cindy, you'll have to make a card for him with that. Okay, so these are interesting. Um, these, I didn't understand until I looked at the pictures. So pretty pop-up dies um, right here. And it says on page 17, basically it's gonna cut out these little shapes, but then they don't cut out. Um, just part of it, it cuts just part of it, and then you, you, you know, you like pop them out a little bit. See that? I think that's really, these are just so clever. New things that we've never had before. Um, and then here's some little, like you can add like standalones. There's the round one. Oh, see, and they, they colored it. They colored them. Wow. That's really fancy. Cool. Very cool. All right, here's another one. This is the pocket, the, what is it called? Mini pocket envelope. This is probably gonna be perfect for a gift card, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, perfect for a gift card. That makes a little bow. Um, you know, my daughter, <laughs> they're not doing anything at school this week, apparently. She's like texting me all day long. Um, all of those are great. It'll make a little little pocket. You know, we'll make some things out of it. We'll make some things for sure. Um, quarter foil. Okay, I ordered two of those. Designer tag dies. Designer tag dies. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, love these. Love those. Um, so, so we've got the tags. This one will add texture to that. That... It's like a little, I guess like a little file folder, you know, like a little tab. Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know what that is. Does that replace? It just puts the hole there? What does that do? Does that fit right there and it cover that up? I don't know what the heck that is, but I'm gonna have to try it and see. It makes a hole, but what, but then what's the shape? Why is it like that? I don't know. Somebody will figure it out and tell me. Okay, those are cool. Again, check that die area back there because there are a lot, as you can see, of standalone dies that don't have matching stamp sets. We're almost done. We're almost to the end of the pile. All right, let's see. Oh, the cracker, the, you know, the treat box, the those things that you can make without a die, but it's really hard. That's really cool. Um, and then look at all the labels. Oh, those are fantastic. The little tags. I always need just a little tag for the little word that I don't want to, you know, cover up something. All right, duplicate. Oh, the, okay, these I want to see in person. These are the sequin dies. Um, the sequin dies are really interesting. 
It goes in the texture tag in the middle, Heather. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. In the texture tag in the in the middle. So Okay, so here is the textured tag. And then that. What? What am I missing? Oh, this one right here. That one. Okay, I got you now, Heather. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So if you don't want to use the tech, but wait a minute. That's a standalone tag. If you cut that and that, it's going to cut the whole piece out. I guess you could cut it and then layer it on. Ah, oh, see, it takes me some time sometimes to figure these things out. But if you don't want to layer, then you've got this weird piece right here that I'm gonna lose. <laughs> and you can cut out the hole. Or you can also just use a hole punch, right? <laughs> because I'm gonna lose that die. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, thanks Heather. I'm gonna think of you every time I use that die now. Um, okay, so these are sequins and they looked gigantic in the catalog they looked humongous see right here i was imagining like a huge sequin but no they're not unless there's something else in here no they're little they're cute that'll be interesting to see how those look they're fun kind of looks like a soccer ball too huh but it's got a hole in the middle hmm all right there's that um, Enchanted Details dies. Oh my gosh. How many dies are there? I had to get the, all the standalone dies. I can't not be without them. Oh, these are cool. They're kind of weird and I like them. This is totally my oldest child too. She's like a, she's like a hippie flower child. She has these things hanging in her room. This will be perfect for her. Okay. Those are called Enchanted Details dies. Um, here's another embossing folder. Twi oh, this one has matching dies. We have to open this one too. We have to open it. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to leave it in the package for the rest of its life. There we go. This is one of those. We've had a few of these now where it's dies and an embossing folder together. So the embossing folder, twigs and sprigs, that's cute. Twigs and sprigs. So it looks like that, and I'm guessing that the or the dies then cut out each little twig. Oh, okay, 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 very cool. So you emboss it, and then you take the die, and you cut them all out, however you however you do it. Maybe it's backwards. Yeah, there we go. Very cool. Love it. That's really neat. That is going to be really handy. Okay, I ordered it, and I didn't even remember seeing it. Deckled rectangle dies. Okay, this is the last set of dies. This is the last set. Um, you're welcome, Vicky. Okay, deckled edge, is that what these are? Deckled edge, so it'll look like the paper's torn, but yet perfectly torn. Awesome, I always tear it and then it's wrong and I have to do it again. Okay, that's a duplicate. We've seen those, a little cheesy. You know I'm getting that set with the puns. Um, where there's a wine, there's a way. It might sound cheesy, but I think you're great. But um cute okay how about this set what do you guys think about this set a fish and a wish it's not my style at all but i'm kind of intrigued this is a cute stamp right here this little and then the waves and then the fish but the best part is that they're a fish punch a fish builder punch right we can make our own fish um yeah, Sunny says, cut the leaves in a bunch of colors and make a fall card. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yep. And then here's the last punch. This is a standalone punch, I believe. What's this one called? This is called the decorative circle punch. It's a really good one. Okay. All right. All I have left to show you is paper and ribbon. And I'll show you that. And then I've got to spend some time getting organized. 
Um, okay, we saw those. Here is the, the butterfly paper. I should have pulled this out when we looked at the butterfly um, bundle. Ooh, love it. I, I swear, I love paper that only has one color. I'm always drawn to it. That's so cute. Six by six. It's similar in colors, I think, to the tea paper. It's not the same colors, but it's similar. To me, it looks kind of similar. Oh, look, those will match the punch. I mean, the dies probably. Ooh, a little good polka dot. Very cute. Class coming soon. Um, of course, I had to get all the Color Family DSPs. These are my favorite every year. Um, this is the In Color, last year's In Colors. This is the Neutrals. This is the Bright, or Regals. This is the Brights. And this is the Subtles. Now, when you get these, you have pattern paper in every single Stampin' Up! color, which just is awesome. Okay, what's this pack of paper? Abigail Rose. Did I not order the Abigail Rose? What's the stamp set that goes with the Abigail Rose? I don't think I did. Um, 56, 57, I didn't. The Abigail Rose, sweet. Why didn't I order that? Hmm, that's a nice set too. You know why? Because the colors didn't jump out at me. I judged it by its neutral colors. And I shouldn't have because it's a good set. All right. Black and white. Mm, like a gray granite or smoky slate. Ooh, I kind of like that. Brown. Again, monochromatic. Oh, yes. I can already see it. Hold on. This is my favorite kind of scrapbooking paper ever. When I was scrapbooking, I would get every paper that came out that looked like this. It is such a fun, simple background. I love that paper, love it. Um, oh, cute. This reminds me of my dorm in college, pink stripe. Again, with the <laughs> petal pink. What is it, Blushing Bride or petal pink? Nope, it's petal pink. It's a peach, not a pink, but whatever. But I do like it here. I like it with, what is this, soft suede? I really like it, these three colors together. Is that white? Or vanilla. I think it's white. Oh, it's very vanilla. So very vanilla, petal pink, and uh, soft suede. Yes. Mm-hmm. Love it. Oh, yes. See, you know, sometimes I just need to get the stuff and see it. You know, the catalog just doesn't do things justice. Um, Polly, I don't scrapbook anymore, unfortunately. I just don't. You know, it just became kind of difficult and then I was doing this full time. Um, my youngest daughter is like, where are my scrapbooks? <laughs> I'm like, um, in my camera. Um, this is called um, Distressed Gold. Only two sheets in the package, but that's all you need. Wow, that's beautiful. All right. And then we've got, oh, I love this paper. The colors jumped out at me in this paper. This is called A Wash in Beauty. Oh, that's a cute pink. That's definitely Blushing Bride. I like it though, the way they washed it, but it is a dirty pink. These are beautiful. What does this go with? Um, I have the stamp set already, don't I? The A Wash, Hues, Hues of Happiness. Is that what this coordinates with? Hues of Happiness. See, we could pre-order, demonstrators were able to pre-order some stuff. No, that's not right. Hues of Happiness is a different, it has its own paper. <coughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Hues of Happiness right there. So what is this, A Wash and Beauty, 66 and 67? Did I already look at the stamp set and not realize that it was 66 and 67 somewhere? I didn't, I didn't order it. What? See, I didn't order the whole catalog. I don't know. I just order all the papers because I, I have to have all the papers. That is pretty. That is pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. This looks like hand painted probably by that same Stampin' Up! artist that hand paints some of our papers. That looks like watercolor. That looks like 
cute wallpapery. Ooh, I like those colors. And those colors are pretty too. Oh, what color is that? That is not blushing bright. That's got to be polished pink. You guys know the colors are all in the back. It says balmy blue, blushing bright, calypso coral, granny apple, merry merlot, mossy meadow, polished pink. So saffron. Can I just have a whole package of paper with polished pink patterns? Because I would love it. Okay, I'm, I'm down here to the end. Ribbon. So look at this. This is a huge pack of ribbon um, right here. We only have, this is all the new ribbon in the catalog. Um, this is very soft. This is called Natural Finish, and it's very light. I was thinking it was going to be kind of like burlappy, but no, it's very soft and light. Ooh, I like that. That'll be fun to cut thin and make it all kind of, you know, pull out the the, um, you know, the fibers. Now this is interesting. Let me guess, petal pink. <laughs> of course it's petal pink. Petal pink is in like all the papers. Um, and it, it, it looks pinky here, not peach. Do you guys have trouble opening these? <sighs> there we go. And it has a really weird looking texture. It, it almost looks like suede. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is really different in a good way. It looks like suede and it feels kind of like suede. Um, this is called Petal Pink Soft Polyester. Very pretty. Then this one, you know, this made me think of the ribbon that we had a couple of years ago, but no, it's not shiny. It's more of a, um, like a muslin almost, um, which is weird kind of to go with that silver, but I like it. Let's see what it says. Metallic edge cotton ribbon. Okay, it's very pretty. Hmm. Is that with one of the sweets? Is this ribbon with one of the sweets? Does anybody know? <laughs> Judy, right? It's hard to open those ribbons. That's the worst part of a ribbon share is opening the ribbons. You guys, I've shown you these. These are the in color ribbons. And then this is rose gold and white uh, striped ribbon. And it's a metallic. That rose gold in there is metallic. And it's, it's kind of thick. And it does have a pinky look once that light shines on it. So I guess it will go with all those petal pink papers. <laughs> it's rose gold. It's not petal pink. It's rose gold. That's cute. That is really cute. That'll be cute just like as a border like that. Flat. And then last but not least, we've got a double pack of, what is this? Old Olive and Sahara Sand twill is that what it is twill ribbon and I might be able to open it maybe okay there we go and then it like sticks to you that plastic and it's like following you around all right we've had ribbon like this before old olive and Sahara sand Sahara sand's a good color okay last I have one more thing to show you hopefully you guys saw the branded products we have new products that are um that have stamping up brand you know as the kids call it it's merch you know, like merchandise, it's merch. So they order like YouTubers merch and, you know, famous people's merch. So this is Stampin' Up's merch and they've got these cute cups and all the end colors. So I picked Tahitian Tide because I liked it. But I almost got Parakeet. I don't know, the Parakeet Cup's really pretty too. So, you know, we have an entire cabinet of these kind of cups. I really didn't need a new one, but I had to get it because it's Tahitian Tide. So make sure you check that out. When you shop over and you click like, you know, for all the categories down about two thirds of the way, it says branded, I think, branded merchandise. Um, check it out. There's a hoodie. There's some file folders. There's some grid paper. I didn't order the grid paper, did I? Dang it. Okay, that's it. I need a nap, but I got to put it all together. <laughs> I got to put it all away and start designing. Yay, that's the fun part. So Friday, you guys, oh, you know what, while you're here, let me show you. Here's the He's All That. This will be Club Create for June. 
This is the um, bundle that um, I said would go so well with those icon dies. It's a fun fold card class, or uh, it, they're all fun folds for club, but it's not until June, so don't sign up yet if you're not subscribed already. Um, it's really cool, and there's six projects in here. I couldn't stop because I loved them so much. The uh, the pieces in there are fabulous. So anyway, that's that. And Friday, is that tomorrow? What is today? Wednesday. Did I say, did I call it tomorrow in my blog post? I think I did. Um, day after tomorrow is Friday, and we will be doing um, Sweet Songbird. And I've got some really cute things for you. So hopefully you'll join me on Tuesday at, oh my gosh, I need a nap. A Friday at 2 o'clock Central. Friday, 2 o'clock Central. Um, and um, that's it, I guess. You guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having fun with me today. Nobody in my family would um, have fun with me with all this. They'd be like, okay, lady. Hey, I'm going to answer a question. Um, Denise says, where did you find that cup? In the Stampin' Up! store. Scroll down. Um, on, you know, when you look at, like, the categories, it'll say branded merchandise or something like that logo branded it says branded doesn't it um and vicky for june club create you could subscribe starting may 8th all right and uh judy tell your husband oopsies i know i just threw a bunch of them away too when i was cleaning out the kitchen all right you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you on friday okay thanks for joining me bye